Welcome back, coming in to another Travel with SB Vlogs as a continuation of Father Liar's birthday special. As you're aware or not fully aware, based on that, we went to like Waitomo, up to the Waitomo caving region to do some black water rafting inside the ca famous caves of Waitomo in the Waitomo region. So if you haven't seen this, I'll suggest I'll put it in the iCard and in the description box below me. But before I continue, I want to welcome you to the newbies today who may have landed on my page. I'm Aspie Answers. I'm a host. I'm a content creator. I do my podcasting. I do vlogging on this channel versus on my podcast, ASB Answers. As well as I'm saying this based on this, I do so many other things with fun and games as well as advocating and educating you all about mental health and autism and just taking you all on a journey what life is like for me as an autistic as well as with the host of mental illnesses along with also the new diagnosis of ADHD which I hope to share more about this. So if you're into any of these and more, feel free to smash that subscribe button and turn on that notification bell so you can get updated to when I post. Usually I post with my schedule three times a week but I may schedule to change but as I said after Christmas New Year's period I might have to announce to you guys what my plans are so sit tight for that and all fairness and do hopefully you're enjoying some of the videos I'm presenting to you guys to learn more about me about my diagnosis or just some of the fun and games that Father Lion and I got up to. So stay tuned in the next video piece over where we were heading for the day Ultra Honga and I should the last bit of our travel. Welcome to Otrahonga, Māori name for a little small township in the Waikato region in the King Country to be exact, north of the King Country of the North Island of New Zealand. This is located 53 kilometres, 33 miles south of Hamilton and 18 kilometres, 11 miles north of Te Kiwesi on the Waipa River. This is known as a service town for the surrounding dairy farming district because obviously in the Waikato region it's the largest region in the North Island known to mankind for farming as well as the Māori culture and Māori history of the big tribe or iwi of the Tainui tribe so on and so forth. It's surrounded or is recognised as the gateway to the Waitoma Caves that I briefly mentioned to you guys earlier if you haven't seen it. I'll link it in the iCard above me as well as in the description box below me, as well as known as the Kiwiana town of New Zealand. Kiwiana obviously is a slang derivative term that is used for the most famous Kiwi icon, foods, musician, and so on and so forth, so it's anything that is Kiwi made. Until 2007, Rish Otrahonga usually held a yearly Kiwiana festival to represent all things that represents us Kiwis, based on what I shared earlier. So I'm just going to quickly bring out some early history before I end this piece and take you all on a journey of the day trip of Otrahonga, where Father Lai and I got up to. Until the 1860s, Otrahonga was a Ngāti Manaputu village buddies, peach trees and a flower mill it was known for. Hui Putia is a 300 year old kahikatia tree just to the southeast of Otrahonga, you'll see it, which is was the site of a skirmish in 1822 between Ngāti Manaia Porto and Ngāhuhi. The village was abandoned after the invasion of the Wakatu, except for Lois Hiti or Hitla. Hiti farm um, area remained insecure, with Hiti door being robbed by Tikuti in the year of 1869. But a meeting with Donald McLean later that year signaled a move towards Hiti between the tribe and the people. John William Ellis became postmaster and opened a store in the year of 1865 with Henry Volder and John Hainui Hiti. In 1886, Ngātai Mono Mani or Porto built a courtroom for the native land court and from that year mail was delivered three days a week, three times a month shall we say. And disputes which had delayed development was then settled. On 9 March 1887, the railway was extended 14 miles, 23 kilometres from Te Awamudu and a 14 room hotel was professionally built primarily for those attending port however. The sawmill later run by Alice and Bernard started in 1890 and closed in 1912. Modern history. In the early 1900s, many businesses were established by Māori, in particular John Ormsby. Horny Ormsby. The Otrahunga Times was formed in 1912 and merged with the King Country Chronicle to form the Waitomo News in 1980. McDonald's and a limestone quarry south of Otrahunga in 1968 was bought by Greymount Greymont in 2014. Otrahunga's population grew from 367 in 1916 to about 1,569 in 1951, after which 
growth low. Our overall population dropped from 2,652 in 1991 and to 2,514 in 2013, the fall which was much less direct than the rest of the King Country. Harrisville. In 1996, the town briefly changed its name to Harrisville. This was a process in support of a restaurateur, Henry Harrod of Palmerston North, who was then forced to change the name of this restaurant following the threat of lawsuits from Mohammed Al Fayyad, a then owner of Harrod's department that is in London. As a show of solidarity for Henry Harrod and in anticipation of actions against other similar sounding businesses, it was proposed that every business in Otrahonga change its name to Harrod. With the support of the District Council, Otrahonga temporarily changed town name to Harrodville. After being lampened in the British tabloids, Alpha Yade dropped the legal action in Harrodville and its shot reverted to their former name. Town's bond raised widespread media interest around the world with BBC World Services and newspapers in Greece, Saudi Arabia, Australia and Canada covering the story. Well that wraps up the history background of Otrahonga. Hopefully you enjoyed and learnt something along the way. Stay tuned for the next part of the video of the day trip in Otrahonga of what Fire and the Liar and I got up to. So in all further ado guys, as I'm leaving, there'll be two videos out for you guys. One will be for the best viewer or hopefully maybe that trip that I mentioned of the Waitomo caving. And then the other video hopefully will be the playlist of all the trips that we've been up to if you want to, you know, indulge into the trip that Father Liar and I have been doing as well as myself, just doing it on my own on some videos over. So stay tuned for the next video over and I'll see you guys soon.